The mood across Niger is somber as the country mourns. The string of losses recently suffered by the army has shaken many here and raised concerns about the future. The attackers are trying to conquer territory. I think once they are done with this country, they will move on to another. They have a global agenda. After the devastating loss at Shinogodar, the government of Niger is struggling to deal with the fallout from the attack. What you need to know is the whole of the Sahel is unstable. Leaders in the region are collaborating. Our soldiers are doing their best and need the support of everyone. It's not easy, but we hope things will improve. We hope the hardship we're going through will pass soon. President Mohamed Issafou joined leaders of Mauritania, Mali, Chad and Burkina Faso for a summit with French President Emmanuel Macron in Paul, France but not before making changes in Niger's military leadership, a move described as too little too late for victims of these attacks. Niger unfortunately bears the brunt of the attacks. The new appointments are coming after much damage is done. The problem is structural. Families who lost members are mourning and will continue to do so. What government needs to do is to take measures to prevent this from happening. Niger, like most countries of the Sahel, is facing an uncertain future. In less than two months, 160 of its soldiers have been killed by armed groups. This monument was built in the center of the city in honor of the 71 soldiers killed in Anatas last month. Another 89 soldiers were killed in another attack last week. The threat from armed groups is a major concern for people, especially those living in areas close to the border with Mali and Nigeria. Three days of national mourning is underway. People in the Sahel countries who are now becoming more accustomed to these attacks wonder why the armed groups will strike next. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Niamey, Niger.